NASA just shocked the world by announcing plans of a no lunar starship landing on the moon, which is not good news for the space contractor. Where does that leave SpaceX, and is Elon Musk panicking right now? Let's find out. The South Pole of the Moon The South Pole of the Moon is a sight to behold. With plunging craters and towering mountains, this lunar region has piqued scientists' interest for a very, 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 very long time now. For starters, the pole features regions that receive permanent sunlight, and yet at the same time, there are some regions that remain in the shadows all year round. What's even more interesting is the presence of water ice in the permanently shadowed areas. Given the lack of light, the water has remained untouched for billions of years now, creating cold traps. The cold traps feature a fossil record of water, ice, and hydrogen from the other earlier days of the solar system. In comparison, the North Pole of the Moon features fewer regions like these, making the South Pole of particular interest to astronomers. Naturally, NASA has long been focused on sending astronauts to the region of the Moon. However, given the current situation, it doesn't look like humanity will be visiting the Lunar Pole anytime soon. The Space Agency's Recent Announcement Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Exploration Systems Development Mission, Tutoriate, delivered an important update on NASA's plans for the Lunar South Pole during briefing at the Kennedy Space Center on August 8th. According to him, the government space agency might not be sticking to the original plan for the Artemis 3 mission. The mission is still scheduled for 2025, it might just not be a crewed landing. Free added that pulling off a crewed landing would be depend on certain factors, like whether the landing system which is under work at SpaceX is developed on time or not. Should Musk's aerospace company fail to meet the deadline, NASA might end up flying a different mission. That said, Artemis 3 would not be the first uncrewed mission. In 2022, NASA's launch Artemis 1 without any human crew on board, while Artemis 2 is scheduled for November 2024. NASA's main objective with the Artemis program is to launch a series of missions and build a sustained human presence on Earth's natural satellite. Astronauts would be doing more than just studying the moon, they'll also be focusing on testing technologies for a trip to the Red Planet in the future. That said, the highlight of these series of missions have always been the Artemis 3 mission. The launch was going to put man back on the moon, making it the first time humans has visited the celestial body in over 50 years. More importantly, the space agency was looking to make history by having the spacecraft land at the lunar pole for the purpose of harvesting the ice. NASA scientists are hoping to not only study this ice for signs of biological life, but to eventually use it as rocket fuel in the future. SpaceX's Contract with NASA That said, the company is responsible for designing the landing system for the historical mission is none other than Elon Musk's SpaceX. The company will be using the Starship rocket to design the system. SpaceX has spent long years working on perfecting the Starship model. However, the spacecraft's first orbital test did not go according to plan. The gigantic rocket generated an unexpected rock tornado at the launch, which led to the failure of multiple engines. Eventually, the rocket ended up out of control, making the launch a failure. However, Musk tried to keep up morale by saying that the launch was obviously not a complete success, but still nonetheless successful. Given the situation, it's clear that SpaceX needs to spend more time with the rocket and testing phase, which throws off the entire timeline of the mission. At this point, there's no telling whether SpaceX will be able to fix the Starship for launch in time. The company never expected the launch to go haywire in the first place, which is why the unforeseen failure has thrown a wrench in the space agency's plans. However, the Starship is only half the equation. SpaceX also needs to test how the spacesuits will interface with the rocket, for which stimulators need to be built. It adds another caveat to the system and poses a risk of delaying the mission. Jim wrapped up the briefing by saying that NASA will have an update for the public once it has the chance to visit the starbase. That said, if the space contractor does not come through, NASA has contingency plans to fall back on. The space agency will launch an equivalent number of missions to replace the SpaceX mission should things not fall in place on time. Right now, SpaceX is working around the clock to fix the issues with the Starship with another launch test scheduled soon. And that's all for today. Do you guys think SpaceX will be able to perfect the rocket in time? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Bye now.